Hello everyone, welcome back to Coder and Boards. So today we are going to discuss another topic on Nginx, which is about formatting the structure of Nginx logs. So uh, by default, as you know, the Nginx has logging mechanism and it logs the access and the error logs in a default folder, which is within, within like it's in, in general in, in use in the default way in Linux machines, it will be mostly uh, in slash var uh, log nginx so this is a configurable location and the default delimiter uh, is like a, a space a white space based delimited uh, file uh, and you will see the same for something similar same similar format in the access log and error log but uh, the good thing is that it's not limited to this format and it is not limited to the the fields that you see inside the default format it is completely customizable so depending upon what we need what fields we need to display we can customize the logs so we're going to discuss about that here and we will show uh, how to configure a json format basically how to configure nginx to write the logs in json format in this example okay so the default log format okay so default log format the files are i mean the log files are written as text files in var log nginx folder and uh, in case of Linux machines, it's in varlog nginx and uh, there you will see two files access.log and error.log. Access.log contains uh, the logs corresponding to all the success requests. Uh, so uh, it's a uh, space delimited uh, file. You will see every, every log, okay, every line. Uh, every log is one line and then uh, basically corresponding to every request that the nginx receives you will see a line on it and also uh, the parameters are separated by white space so the error log also it is something similar every request it's a separate line and the parameters are separated by space so by default it contains a set of parameters uh, we will we will see how we can modify the parameter and how to adjust the structure of that the structure adjustment and the parameter adjustment is required in case uh, of uh, advanced analytics where we need to analyze the nginx logs uh, because see when we host a critical web application we need to see, let's say we want to understand from where all uh, the request has uh, initiated who all are accessing the site uh, what are the ips in which uh, like i mean that is from what are the sources in which the request is getting originated so what's the size of this i mean the request so uh, what's the status of the request whether it's success or failure so what's the payload so all those kind of information we can analyze from these logs basically the nature of the entire request can be analyzed analyzed through these logs so this log is very important and for us to analyze we will need to take this logs to systems beyond nginx so to like a time i mean to some database and to create visualizations out of it, generate alerts, alerts based on that. So a lot more can be done outside Nginx using these logs. So be, because of all these, these logs are very important. Okay, so let's see how we can configure uh, or customize the logs, okay? So what we will do is, so let's get into the example. So this is a machine where I have already configured Nginx. So I'll show you the default format of uh, the logs. So I'm inside, if you see uh, my location, I'm inside var log Nginx. And if I do an ls, you can see two files. One is access.log, second is error.log. Okay, so if I open the access.log, you can see some lines inside this, okay? Some records inside this. This is the first line. Okay, so this is a long line. That's why you are seeing uh, it folded into two lines. So it's a single line. Okay, this is the second line and this is the third line. Okay, if you see this has an IP address, basically the IP address uh, from where the request has originated. Then there are two empty fields. You can see the timestamp at which when I hit this type of request, request method. It's a get request. Okay, HTTP. Okay, so uh, what is the version of HTTP? Then uh, a request status. Then what is the browser? Okay, this is like I mean the client, uh, uh, basically the client uh, details. Okay, then mm, yeah, that's it. Okay, so this is like I mean the default format. So we can customize this to include more information inside this. Let's say if this is an application where uh, user login, I wanted to see the name of the user. So that can be configured here. We can extract the username from the request from the AP, the payload and 
populated to this uh, log so it's not it's recommended to not to uh, expose sensitive information on the log but we can uh, within the limitations we can uh, we can expose uh, i mean whatever uh, is possible to expose within the safe limits okay so let me show you how it gets generated so i am opening this log okay so and then here is the web server ip so this is hosted in an aws machine so I, I am opening i am making a request here okay so you see for my new request a new line got generated here okay let's let me put some space here again let me make a request so you will see another request so that means for every request a line of law will be generated in this particular file and over a period of time this file rotates okay we can configure the rotation uh, we can configure like automatic deletion all those things we can do it but here we are going to discuss more about the structure of this log so if you want to more, know more about the structure of the log first thing is you need to have a basic understanding of this nginx logging okay so that is available in the nginx official documentation so here if you see in this documentation it explains about the structure of the log okay so one important thing that we need to see is the escape parameter so the way to define uh, a new log format okay way to define a new log format is by defining some uh, a format in this way so basically log format okay name of the format we can give any name so if you want to give uh, some custom name you can give okay so i'll show you so it's something similar to okay log format okay the name of the log logger json is something that we are giving it's basically name of the log name of the log format so then escape we need to specify what's the escape okay escape means so uh, we can escape means basically we can uh, the, the parameters or the fields inside this we can escape either in the default way or in the json way let's say if you are formatting it in json way so we need to escape the parameters which requires escaping in json so because we will use double quotes uh, brackets curly brackets colon all these comma those these things are uh, used for structuring a json uh, json right so if it comes we need to escape it properly otherwise what will happen it will create conflict with the conflict with the uh, with the structure so that's why if you see for json so there is a, a separate way of escaping and default basically like i mean the code and slash these are i mean the escaping characters so here we are going to discuss about uh, an example with escape as json and once we define escape as json then what we are doing is using normal string mechanism so we use like single quotes and define source okay and defining what is the source nginx time okay dollar m second so this is something that gets the value at the time when the request gets hit so response body size okay so this is like i mean dollar byte sent so this is a parameter that gets the size of the payload okay so this gets value at the time of uh, hitting this api then host http host address remote address so all these parameters we will structure it so this is like i mean a variable and this is the value for the variable so we can define a structure by using a combination of variables and uh, these parameters okay so let's say like i mean we can even do uh, derived parameters let's say from this timestamp i just need the year we can do that formula also so i'll explain that in a different uh, uh, video but we can have derived parameters as well so uh, once we define that our log format will be ready and once the log format is ready what we can do is we can use that log format in our virtual host so if you want to know more about virtual host you can watch my previous video so you can use it in the virtual host or you can use it globally inside the nginx configuration itself so in this example what we will do is we will define this log format globally inside the nginx okay let's go to the nginx so the default configuration of basically if you see uh, this is an ubuntu machine so slash etc slash nginx okay so go, if you go inside this you can see a file called nginx.conf okay so this has a set of default configurations within nginx okay so i will go inside the http section of this okay i'll go inside the http section of this and here what i lose i'll define okay so i can define i'll define the log format so the format i'm defining here 
sorry i will have to copy it again i will copy this format let's copy this format and paste it here so if you see now we have copied the format and we our format name is logger json okay escape equal to json and we have defined the format and you see this is the default location of log if you want to change it to some other location it will we can change it in that way and this is basically the default configuration if you want to make changes only to specific virtual host you can make these changes inside the virtual host itself so if i if you make the changes here what will happen is it will be the default configuration so uh, if you are not specifying this logger format anywhere it will be the default format okay so it will be applicable to the other virtual host or whatever whatever sites or uh, that you deploy under this everything will get this format okay so here if you see access log this is the log file so we need to specify the log format here the custom log format that we have defined we need to specify after the log file name if you don't specify what will happen is it will pick the default one so let's see if you don't specify what happens okay so so let's ver verify the configuration nginx hyphen t so configuration syntax is okay test is successful let's restart nginx okay nginx restarted so now let's see tail hyphen f slash var log nginx access dot log okay so it is still because we have not made any request let's refresh this again so you will see it's in the same old format okay so let me refresh it again it's in the same old format because i have not updated the log because i have defined the custom format but i have not used inside the inside the config file okay so i'll have to use it so i'll have to use it in the definition so let's open that nginx again configuration again and in the access file so if you're defining a format so it's not limited to one format okay you can define a number of formats and use it in multiple places so within the same nginx so you can have like i mean format one format two format three so or if you want to add some new fields you can add those fields so you can define it's up to you so you can have a for example you can have a specific format for access log you can have a completely different format for the error log so here i am going to modify the access log so log of json is, is my format name custom format name so i am defining after the file name access log file name and the format name okay so now let's say again validate the configuration file in the next hyphen t okay it's all fine let's restart okay restarted now let's again open the nginx configuration i mean the log file okay now you will see the old because the old file is with the old text uh, basically space delimited values let's refresh now you see the new log is in a json format okay you see new log is in json format and you see the time time it was with dollar m second right so now it got the value okay response body size is zero because it's a get request i didn't send anything okay host ip this is the host ip address so basically the ip address of the host this will be useful in case of any proxies or redirections or anything so this is like i mean the address basically the clients client ip address okay so this is the ip address at which the request originated so let's say i wanted to change this from address to client address so what we will do is we will go to nginx conf C L I E N D I P address. We started. Okay, I'm requesting again. Okay, now you see in the new request it is client IP address, and if you see in the old request you can see it is still address. In the new request it is client IP address. So in this way we can modify it, and let's say if you want to remove a field, add a new field. everything is doable so basically once you do this you will get the J logs in json format so why we need it in json format because json is a very easy format for us to or for programs to parse it okay so uh, that's the reason i mean basically let's say if you want to load it into some database so without much additional parsing logic you can have you can load it very easily using this json format 
so you can have some log aggregators and the log aggregator can take this file or take these records and send it to some some database like Elasticsearch or Prometheus or some other some other database okay so I hope this example is clear so uh, this is not just limited to the JSON so you can have any format any fields so if you have any questions or queries or anything you can comment below this video I'll, I'll definitely help you uh, thank you thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day